know, maybe it's time to turn over a new leaf and make this the year you really make progress in your personal and professional life. Now, to make sure you follow through, we have a blueprint for strategizing, sticking to, and crushing those goals. Call it failing, call it bailing, call it coming up short. Most of us never fully follow through on our big goals, but the people who do... They don't just talk about it. They actually identify, this is what I need to start doing today and tomorrow and next week and next month, and they follow through on that. To learn the blueprint for success, we turn to Bui Medu, engineer turned image architect. For starters, begin with the end in mind. What we're doing is we're working backwards. We're saying, okay, I want to lose 10 pounds in five months. But the way you plan and keep track matters. Where do you write them down? Are they in a blueprint? type of a planner, or are they just on some random piece of paper? His favorite way to start his blueprint planner is with a wall of intention. Imagine a blank wall, and on that wall you have all the months ahead. Pick the months where your tasks or steps toward a goal need to be done. You can use sticky notes to move things so that when you see that something is off, you can actually put it where it's supposed to be. This gives you a lot of flexibility. And looking at the big canvas of the year to really, really be able to get your goals complete and accomplished. Next, build a support system. If you have a four-legged table and you take one of those legs off the table, versus if you have a six-legged table, if you take one off, it's still actually likely to stand. This is just a simple illustration of this whole redundancy idea. He says you need more than one way to get to your goal. A great example is this. You have it in your Google Calendar and you have a reminder that's set. 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or depending on the type of task. A day before, or you can have it set three days before. You have to keep reminding yourself of something in order for you to be aware of the fact that you have to get it done. Another thing the goal achievers do is set specific project tasks. When it comes to losing those 10 pounds inside of that project, there's a specific scope of work that needs to be done. This could include hiring a trainer or nutritionist or setting up a meal planner. I know that cooking once a week is going to help me eat healthier. So I'm going to write down eat healthier. All of this has to be done within the blueprint calendar with set reminders and alarms. Once that's all written, now you have your project scope. We're reverse engineering successful goals.